pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Happy Friday, Firebirds. I'm Alicia Vlasic, here to greet you all on this lovely morning. Today's April 26, 2024, and we welcome you to join us on the 24th episode of our fifth season of our weekly show, The Rise. Coming up on today's show, a spotlight on our troupe's riveting musical performances this week, the variety of performing art classes and the creative outlet they provide for our students, a short film on the perspective of a classic writer's block, an update on our spring athletes as they reach the finish line to their seasons, and reminders on important dates as we close off the month. All this and more on this expressive edition of The Rise. With the weekend finally rolling in, we can expect partly cloudy weather, with highs of 81 and lows of 70. There'll also be a humidity level of around 50, so I'd recommend steering away from dark clothes to try to stay as cool as possible in this Miami weather. This is your reminder to wear sunscreen when going out. There's no better way to experience self-expression at first glance than at our school's very own West Side Story performance. Our troupe 635A hosts their yearly musical production, with this year being the classic play titled West Side Story. Performing for three nights in a row, the troupe has been working endlessly hard to put on these shows, including the rotation of different actors each night. Students not only in theater took on the stage, but also members of dance, orchestra, and even some of our favorite teachers like Mr. Montenegro danced the night away. Bravo to everyone who performed. Just as theater serves as a platform for self-representation at our school, our other performing art branches also open up the opportunity for students to express themselves through different mediums. From painting a canvas to intricately playing an instrument, these classes provide a creative outlet for all those to truly impress their passions. Here's Inger Pakar with an insight of some of these artistically driven students. Whether it's graceful movements on stage or colorful strokes on canvas, students are able to express different emotions in their own special way. Through different forms of art, students are able to communicate without words, letting creativity speak volumes about who they truly are. It like plays a role in expressing my emotions by like we have like we're playing like many different pieces in class so like if one day I'm like feeling like sad and then like we come to class and then we're like playing like some happy song it, it may, like it really does like boost my mood up you know the uplifting melodies of music have a positive effect on students moods also allowing others to emotionally connect with the expressive movements they portray whenever I dance I kind of feel the music and I let myself get loose and I just, whatever I'm feeling, I show it through whatever I'm doing. I, I really don't think about much when I dance. I just feel. While rhythm and dance offer students a chance to release their emotions, sharing one's feelings by making a physical representation of it serves as another way for emotional expression. Well, ceramics, it's just, it takes the emotion and makes it a tangible thing. I'm able to physicalize uh, an idea of something that you know, it's like, okay, if you're feeling stressed about something or you have a certain emotion that just needs to be put out there, you can physically make it with your own two hands. And I think that's something that's so beautiful. Reporting for Fiber TV, I'm Ingrid Palkar. Even when students are given platforms like art class to freely express themselves, they often tend to struggle with how to convey their emotions in the right manner. Many students come across an irritating phenomenon of writer's block, where the words refuse to come to life. To learn how to overcome this frustration, here's a short film to represent all those with writer's block. I miss the class that taught you what is or how to do that thing called expression. 
Nihilist thoughts dance circles in my head. I'm tempted to ask and I'm so full of dread. What if nothing is worth it? Inspirations hanging by a thread. So to express I'm a mess, need to get this off my chest. I'm at my brink. I'm out of sync. Think. What can I think? Apparently anything, but anything can stink. Blink. The pit in my stomach turns inside out. I worry and stress and build my doubt. I need to write. I want to shout. I don't know what to write about. Me. To express the spotlight is me. I just need to be free, the anxiety, and let go. Leave the busy, buzzing world behind. Breathe low and slow in for your heart. See how your expression comes alive. The audience doesn't need to agree. In misunderstanding, you can't plead. The bad experiences still let you see that what's for you is for you. What's for me is me. Watching our Doral athletes work hard and continuously compete week after week is truly its own form of expression. With the spring season slowly coming to an end, many sports including baseball and softball have already held their senior nights, marking the end of a long era. For many seniors, this may seem like a sad moment, but it's the memories they've made throughout the season and how they've conveyed their own personalities onto their games. Let's take a look at the devotion behind these players and what's to come for sports. Our Firebird athletes are just one step away from entering playoff season. As we come close to the end of the school year, we look forward to many senior nights and many lasts. The endless work they lay has reflected on their recent wins. Here's this week's sports report to keep you in the loop on what's to come. Congratulations to the softball team for their win against Miami Christian with a score of 4-3. Megan Villazón struck out 15 batters and collected a hit alongside Anabela Abdullah, Zoe Abdullah, Sarah Otrera, and Anneli Gonzalez. Also, their next game will be at Wellington tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Best of luck. Unfortunately, our girls' tennis team lost to Palmetto with a score of 4-2, cutting their season short. In some other tennis news, yesterday our boys team beat Palmetto with a score of 4-3, allowing them to advance to states. State semifinals will take place in the following week. Today, our boys baseball team defeated JC Bermudas with a score of 9-0, allowing them to head towards district playoffs. Sebastian Berrios secured a home run for the team and Ignacio Salaveria, Jaden Nunez, Gabriel Milano and Mikey Torres all scored some runs for the team, leading them to the victory. What a great way to end their senior night. This replayoffs for them will also be in the following week. Now here's Ignacio Salaveria with his personal goals for the rest of the season and even after high school. So my goal is definitely to win a state championship. Um, you know, we've been working very hard for this since the beginning of the season, since the fall. I mean, I've never won a state championship in my life. Actually, never even won districts. But I'm here. I'm here to work. We've been working hard for this, and we're definitely going to make it happen. Reporting for Firebird TV, I'm Daniela Pineda. Now back to your anchor. Keeping an eye out for all the latest school events can become tricky, especially with AP season approaching next month. Luckily, here at The Rise, we make sure to keep you up to date with all the latest club meetings, announcements, and activities. Let's check out what's awaiting for next week. Physical science tutoring will be held for high schoolers from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. and for middle schoolers from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Today is the last day to watch West Side Story at our school auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. You can buy your tickets from any theater member or online. Attention, our 8th grade class shirts are still available for purchase in cash from the activities office during lunchtime. Check our Instagram at Doral Academy for more information regarding 8th grade activities. Seniors, tomorrow's officially prom date. It'll be held from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. 
There will be AP Psychology review lessons every Tuesday and Thursday in room 514H and 406H from 2.45 to 4 p.m. Our annual middle school film festival, Midnight in Paris, will be held next Friday, May 3rd at our school auditorium at 7 p.m. Tickets will be sold starting next week at $5. The 13th Annual Academic Awards Ceremony will be held on Monday, May 6th at 6.30 at our school. Potential cheer tryout dates will be on May 6th and 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. Plan to attend both days. The 8th grade class dance will be held on May 10th from 7 to 11 p.m. Make sure to check the Dural Academy Instagram for more information regarding tickets and dress codes. That's all for this year's last episode of The Rise. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Fiber TV to stay up to date on our daily news. From all of us here at Fiber TV, we wish you a fabulous Friday and a lovely weekend.